Real pleasure to welcome you back to The Morning Brew. Larry Aaron's here with my friend uh, Stephen J. Westman, who's co-hosting this week. And I think you've had a good time. I've had a great time. <laughs> yeah. Russell Linda thought I was ready to fall asleep, yeah. though, so I'm kind of worried yeah, about you, that. You know, I do that at, at social things sometimes. Sometimes people mistake people that are like me in the media and right. you know, like the gentleman you're going to meet that we're outgoing and bombastic. And <laughs> I'm, I really like to go to social events, just listen to people. I, the, I don't talk much. It's how you get the stories. I'm like a little sponge over in the corner. I'm, that doesn't mean I'm antisocial. Yeah. I just, I'm, I find people interesting and I want to hear what they say. I've heard myself enough. That's, you why, know? You, that's <laughs> why you're here a year and a half later. <laughs> Alex Parama is with us uh, today from Community Publishing. Alex, good to see you. Good to see you, Larry. And Thanks you brought Paul me. Ingalls along I with did, you today. I did. I did. A little bit of a story. You know, you know Princess Maricel and the Moon Thieves was our first, uh, our first release. And uh, I got in touch with Paul because I've heard his uh, show Peace Talks Radio, his program. And uh, I said, it's intriguing. How does a children's book promote peace? And, mm -hmm. and I, in, in the case of Princess Maricel, it's a, it's a book about a, a child traveling around the world. So. Uh, and, and visiting different places. And so I think a lot of, of peace, a lot of, of, of war actually, is because of uh, misunderstandings and people not, not knowing each other's and each other's culture. It's based out of fear. So here's this little girl traveling from country to country and people are friendly to her. And, and I think there's some reality to that. And so I got together with Paul and he had us on his show. That's right. Paul, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you on. It's nice to see all of you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Larry, I've been a big fan of your radio work, and before we went on the air, I was mentioning that I think I worked for five radio stations <laughs> trying to knock you off the uh, top slot. That was so awesome. Yeah. Man. <laughs> well, I'll take the that's a great succeed? compliment. I, we never succeed. All right. No, no, but, but that was, all, it, was well, all, it was all fun trying, you know, and radio could be a fun business. So Absolutely. I, I love all the people in the biz, and I think you and I were in the radio biz at the right time. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and, but what's one thing that you said that really relates to this project that I work on now, which is uh, one of many projects, but it's called Peace Talks Radio. It's a uh, regular series that is uh, on the radio and online about peacemaking and nonviolent conflict resolution. And what you were saying about when you go out and you listen, uh, this is one of the key elements to conflict resolution, is to listen to what others have to say. And our program is not a political program, it's not a partisan program, but it's about trying to resolve conflict. Mostly in all the places that we have it, workplace, families, schools, communities, neighborhoods, because if we're not gonna figure out how to you know, resolve conflict among us, then how can we expect governments to do it in yeah. big situations? Where, where do you think that we stand in, in terms of conflict re resolution right now, and I'm just talking people to people, I'm not mm -hmm. talking about nations, mm -hmm. but uh, what, what's changed, what's different, what, what's your analysis of Well, um, the sad part is that it doesn't change very much. You know, we are in conflict all the time. Yes. Um, I think what's interesting, though, is that if we all take some responsibility for peacekeeping, because literally, if you think about it, I mean, every 10 minutes in your day, you might have an opportunity to run into a conflict of some kind. Right. But if you keep some basic things in mind, which is what all of the guests on our program seem to emphasize, there are some common themes. One is listening. That if you're in conflict with somebody, the first thing you should do is listen. Empathize with whoever you're in conflict with because we get defensive when we don't think we're being heard. So you can knock down a lot of barriers just by listening. One of our guests said, Americans' definition of listening is waiting to speak, <laughs> which is not really listening. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> I am thinking about it. Right. So if, if, you, if you listen with intent and then you reflect back what you've heard to somebody, then you're over the first big hump because most of us get defensive because we don't think we're heard. Right. We don't think we're understood. So to answer your question, I just think that we're all able to do more in our daily lives. And... I mean, it sounds a little, you know, trippy to say that I think there are waves that move out from that understanding of peacemaking that can have an impact on the world, but I really believe it's true. So we focus in on one aspect of that every time we do a, a Peace Talks radio show. Interesting. 
Um, yeah, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to grow it organically, right? I think so, every day. I mean, when you think about your day, whether it's like dealing with family, friends, people mm -hmm. in traffic. We did a program on travel rage once to help people figure out how to relax in traffic and you know, not become that sort of protected person in a bubble that thinks you can you know, uh, shout and uh, flip yeah. gestures and that sort of thing out at people and get in some more trouble. All of our programs are online, by the way, I want to say. We're on the radio on KUNM yes. once every month, the last Friday of the month. Nice. And then uh, we are also online at peacetalksradio.com. 140 programs are available. They're showing the website. You can go there. Also, goodradioshows.org is also the same website. But you can go click around there, click on Peace Talks Radio episodes, and you'll hear some of the other shows. You can read transcripts, interviews with our guests, our other co-hosts, Suzanne Kreider and Carol Boss, are also featured on those shows as well. Nice, nice. So how does the format work on there? The format is, it's an interview format, but we'll pick a topic, uh, like let's say peaceful parenting. You know, we want to give uh, people ideas about how they can raise their kids to do the things that we were just talking about. And we'll uh, maybe book two or three guests uh, who can talk about that. And uh, we'll do interviews, pre-record interviews. It's not a live show. And then we'll interview for maybe 40 minutes and do that thing that you do in radio and TV, edit down you know, right. to crystallize the conversation. And then we'll create an hour-long version and a half-hour version, which is the one that KUNM does. Like when we had Alex on, we had Alex and Marisol, his daughter, talking about his book. We right. talked for maybe 40 minutes or right. something. Yeah. And then the segment's 20 when it gets on the air so that uh, you, the listener gets the very best of the conversation. Is there usually something that has sparked or prompted you to choose the subject matter that you well, have Well, that's a great time? question. Because we do 12 shows a year and we've done 140 in 12 years, um, we can't really cover the breaking news that well. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but we will try to stay current with it. Like when there were school shootings, we noticed that there was a woman who was a clerk at a school in Atlanta who managed to talk a potential shooter down. Right. You may remember that story mm -hmm. from 2013. Right, right. So we talked with her. She had written a book. And her story is very powerful. Um, I mean, it's not like it's an advice column. But what she did when that fella came into the school office, all raged up and loaded for bear to shoot, she listened to him, she talked to him, she empathized with him, and kind of inadvertently broke him down. Right. He ended up you know, putting his guns down and getting on the floor. So it's not impossible you know, when we're in very dire situations of violence to keep these things in mind and say, well, you know, there are some things that, that we can do. Uh, the police deal with this kind of thing all day and every day. Right. What can they learn from your show? Well, I think it's a really, and that's a, another example, you know, Stephen was asking about do we take news items and maybe make it a little more current. Uh, the, uh, uh, the role between police and community is a really great topic that we're looking at doing a show it in is. 2015. Because there's a case where the folks who are upset with the police need to empathize with the police. Yeah, right. The police need to recognize that they're in a very highly charged situation and they have to work on their listening skills. I'm sure that a lot of the uh, training that the Justice Department is bringing to that situation is going to be a lot about nonviolent communication, how to keep it from escalating into shootings. Because it's tricky, and it's, it takes courage, and it takes skill. You've got to really think about these yeah. things. It takes a lot of patience, I would imagine. Patience is huge, you know, and just the fact that I think it's harder to make peace than to make violence. Mm -hmm. I love, speaking of the radio biz, I love how radio has moved online mm -hmm. and right. can be so inventive and creative and focused on, oh. on, on I'm not calling your topic narrow, but I mean, it's, it's focused on a single topic and people who are interested in that topic can, can find, find a wealth of info. That's right. And well, I, that's I appreciate nice. that. I know, I know. And, and when we started it, I mean, I cut a video for our program when we were just getting started. And I, I said those same words. I said, I think what's great about the Internet is yeah. that, you know, stuff that we used to do on the radio, right, right. that just kind of went into the ether right. can be saved and people can enjoy it again and draw something. And it's from focused. It. 
it, it's focused. It, it, you can find, you know, what you're most interested in and, and really get some great content. Nice idea. The people now, who are searching for an answer may end up finding what you've talked about. Right. Well, wow. I think, you yeah. know, I think if they go to peacetalksradio.com and they click through the episodes, they will find uh, several episodes that relate to their lives one way or another, and they can get some great tips for it. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's challenging. We're a nonprofit organization. We're in the middle of a fundraising drive right now. So if you like what you've heard and then you go to the website and like what you hear there, recognize that we're a very small operation and donations are greatly appreciated right now. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Larry, I wanted to bring up something really quick. We have a, a small business Saturday, the 29th. And yes. we're going to be over at uh, BookWorks uh, communitypublishing.org. We have all the information. Our author, Fiona, uh, I'm yeah. sorry, Elena Rocher, who wrote this yes. book, she, uh, she'll be there. Okay, so good. That's exciting. BookWorks is going to be on the show here in a bit. Yeah, so. yeah. And I just want to say, a Alex does so much great work in the community to yeah. help Thanks, promote Paul. these things. It's wonderful. Yeah, we know. He's yeah. here a lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, it's great to meet you. Thank you great for being here. Yeah. Stephen, thank you so Alex, much. Alex, thank thanks you. for bringing him to our yeah. attention. Yeah. He does and a lot of good work. Our viewers clock in with the Paul Ingalls website and to find out more. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks. Thank it's the Morning Brew. We continue in just a moment. Uh, we will feature the folks from BookWorks here in a sec and much more as we uh, have this Friday show going today, Stephen. We'll be back in a It moment. is rolling. Yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Oh.